हेलो गाइस व्हाट्स अप सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज इलास्टिक नेटवर्क इंटरफेस ओके एंड वी विल डिस्कस दिस थिंग इन डिटेल ओके एंड वी विल सी द हैंड्स ऑन लैब हाउ टू क्रिएट एन इंटरफेस एंड व्हाट आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू डू ओके सो लेट्स डाइव डीप इनटू दिस ओके सो फॉर दैट लेट्स कंसीडर एन एग्जांपल ओके सो लेट अस सपोज दिस इज माय ईसी2 इंस्टेंस एंड अ सॉफ्टवेयर is running in my ec2 instance okay so you are here okay you want to access a website which is known as abc.com and your software is mapped with this domain okay so whenever you requested for this abc.com you are redirected to this ec2 instance okay so you are going to your web browser so you are on internet okay and internet will give you like this is the ec2 or this is the server of uh, uh, this software so you have every, anything so any request you have you can you know proceed with that okay so uh, your software will give you this information simple use case simple story okay so in this story when this a uh, request is gone gone from this ec2 instance there is a network interface card between that okay there is a network interface card between that that is known as elastic ec2 instance network okay elastic network interface card you can say that okay so what it will do so what is the meaning of that okay so uh, if you have seen my docker uh, video or you have enrolled in my docker uh, course so you know that there are three components in the docker architecture one is cli another is rest api and uh, another is daemon okay docker daemon so this rest api acts as an interface between the cli and daemon okay in the similar way when you request and your software there is an interface like this will filter acts as a filter like what request you need to have or what not to have okay so this is the network interface card which acts as a interface between this okay so why do we need this interface okay so for this example okay you are here okay and you want to access a website which is known as abc.com okay and you have three instances deployed okay and each instance is having its own network interface card okay so either way you can do one thing that you can create individual network interfaces card uh, with the particular security groups assigned okay so what is that so let us suppose uh, uh, you are having some rules and regulations like this ec2 instance or you will only accept the request which are https secured another another you only accept tcp you are only follow tcp protocol not smtp protocol is not acceptable okay something like that those are the rules that you have given explicitly okay so this is a rule that you have defined so in the corporate world okay when your projects have been assigned so they have assigned you some protocols in a document okay that you need to configure in this network interface card so that has been you you can say that that has been documented well documented okay so due to error what happen is this instance goes down similar way this network interface also now down okay due to some error so what you can do you can do one thing you can attach a you can create your own uh, eni elastic network interface okay and attach a new instance to that okay so let us suppose previously it has been attached to this instance and if this goes down this is a new network that is uh, this is a new interface ec2 instance available so what it will do it will detach it and attach it to this new instance okay so that your rules 
and regulations have been preserved with this ENI. Okay, your rules and regulation has been preserved with this ENI. So this is a most uh, important example and the widely asked uh, interview question with respect to this that why we use an ENI. What is the need for the ENI? Okay, you can give in that perspective. I hope it is clear guys. Okay, so now let's deep dive into the theory section. Okay, so ENI is a logical component in VPC that represents virtual network card. Okay, we can create ENI independently and attach them to EC2 instance for the failover. Okay, the same example that I've shown you. Okay, now this is the most important. It is bound to a specific availability zone. Okay, only one availability zone. Okay, you can create one ENI. Okay, only one ENI. This one interface card you can create. Okay, when you move a network uh, interface from one instance to another, the network traffic is redirected to the new instance. Okay, this is a benefit or the advantage of a ENI. Okay, I hope uh, with that examples, the two examples that I've shown you, these things are clear. Okay, now let's deep dive into our hands-on lab where we can actually see how to create a uh, interface card and uh, attach and detach it. Okay. So here we are in this uh, AWS console. So just click on this uh, EC2 instance. Okay. I have selected a region uh, this, okay, uh, US East 1, okay, mm, make sure you also follow this, okay, let's uh, launch an instance, okay, so here uh, our uh, uh, operating system is Linux, okay, let's create a uh, key value pair, okay, let's give a test. Oh, wait a second now. Okay, just create it. Okay. And let us give this internet and let us assign this thing to a subnet. Okay. Now, everything is as perspective. Let's give two EC2 instance. Okay and just click on the launch button okay so our ec2 two ec2 instances with the same configuration has been created you can see and they are in the availability zone which is us east 1a okay so as they are up and running so just go to one of them just click on one of them and just go to the networking just click here you can see the network interface okay and you can see here also this is a network interface eni you can say that has been create, created okay this is a network interface card that has been created okay we can create our own also okay so uh, now let's uh, go to our uh, let's create our own Okay, just in the left hand side, you can see network and security under that network and security. You can see network interfaces. Just click on this network interfaces and you can see these are the network interface card that has been attached to the respective EC2 instance. Okay. Okay. So you can see the availability zone. Okay. And the security groups. Good. So let's create our own network interface. Okay. Let's create it inter phase one okay let's assign to a subnet let me assign to a different availability zone which is us east 1d okay let's check let's assign a security group to this interface and just click on this create interface okay so voila your uh, availability zone for a particular availability zone your interface has been created now let's see that can we attach this interface to these instances? Okay. Let's try to attach this. So just click on this. Okay. And uh, click on this action and just click on this attach button. You can see there is no running instance 
with respect to this availability zone so our point okay in the presentation i have shown you now only one availability zone it is okay now uh, let me just create a new one okay so guys i have quickly created new interface okay which is in the same availability zone with these instance that these instances in r okay okay so basically i'll tell you these are not instances these are the interface card that has been automatically been created when we launch an instance but we can also create our own okay so that is what i'm going to teach you okay so let's attach this okay so just click on this let's attach this to a net uh, instance you can see now we have the two instances in the same availability zone okay just click on this attach button and congratulations your network has been attached okay so you have an attached oh let's find out okay just click on this refresh button okay let's see on which instance we have okay this is the instance that we have attached to you can see okay okay now uh, let me just do one thing okay let me just uh, detach uh, uh, stop this uh, ec2 instances okay okay terminate these okay now let's see okay so when we uh, do the these things so we have some ec2 instances that have been available okay for this uh for these okay let's uh, just wait and refresh this so you can see guys uh, one of them this is it, it is also taking some time okay automatically it is also getting delete so one of them has been uh, deleted so uh, we will remain with these two okay no worries uh, these this will also get deleted okay when we just refresh it this is also get deleted okay by the passage of time because uh, one thing that we need to remember whenever uh, the network interface card that has been created okay uh, that has that is temporary okay but the that we have created it is permanent and whenever we start a ec2 instance we can attach it to any ec2 instance that is been newly been created okay because the ec2 uh, we do not have to attach uh, security groups again and again okay so you can say that this interface acts as a uh, a key okay a reusable thing that we can attach to any ec2 instances okay i hope this thing uh, is clear guys okay so this is it for this section oh we'll see you in the next happy learning guys